So, as a module developer and a web agency before that, we often see merchants struggle with their metrics and the analysis of their shop's performance. And unfortunately, what usually happens is uh, they just set it aside. But it is extremely important that from the start, merchants monitor their shop's performance closely to see the decisions they make, whether they're strategic or operational, work towards achieving their goals. So you'll want to get started with setting your objectives and defining an appropriate strategy. From there, you can determine what are the key performance indicators, also called KPIs. Now the end game is all about return on investment and net profits. But from the get-go, most entrepreneurs will usually focus on generating revenue before trying to reduce cost once sales you know, become more significant. So start by setting some realistic objectives linked to the revenue, such as sales volume, site traffic, or conversion rate, for example. Then, once the launch initial growth phase are behind you and you've established a solid foundation for your e-commerce, you can start setting some more refined objectives that are specific to your business. Now, in order to effectively measure revenue and understand its mechanics, we have five indicators that are essential. The first is site traffic. Now, this is simply the number of people that visit your online shop on a daily, on a weekly, or on a monthly basis. It's the one thing you need to monitor very, very closely upon your website's launch. You need to be absolutely vigilant about it and quickly course correct by implementing actions to boost your visibility and your visits. You'll want to analyze not only global site traffic, but also break it down by page and by product. The more you go into detail, the better decisions you'll be able to make. The next step is understanding your traffic sources. You need to know exactly which channels bring you the most or the least qualified visitors, so you can invest more in the ones that work for you and drop the ones that cost you money but don't generate any results. This indicator will provide you with valuable insight in order to optimize your shop and your performance. In a similar fashion, you'll need to focus on your conversion rate, which is simply the ratio of paid orders to site visitors. And this is usually between 1 and 3%, depending on your industry. If it's too low, you'll need to investigate if there are any issues in the order process, or if your product pages are efficient at convincing, if the call to action buttons are visible, if they work correctly, and so on and so forth. You can also identify products that convert better than others. You'll also want to turn your attention to net margin. Now that's a very meaningful metric for any entrepreneur. This is simply revenue minus costs. Many merchants fail to determine this accurately, and they underestimate the investment and the promotional costs of an e-commerce website. In today's economic environment, price wars are also very common, and net margin can plummet very quickly. So keep your eyes on this at all times. Finally, pay attention to the average cart amount, which is the amount of orders placed by a customer over a specific period of time. This may vary according to your business model, but in most cases, Measuring average card amount and working to improve it will allow a few things. First, it will improve your cash flow. Second, it can also build up your customer loyalty. And the reason is that the better you understand their needs and offer complementary products that match their desires, the more likely they are to return to your shop in the future. And then this can be leveraged later via private sales, for example. And last, it allows you to hedge sales volume related risks, should you suffer a drop in site traffic, for example. Most importantly, it is much easier and less expensive to increase average card amount than to increase site traffic, which takes time and financial resources, whether it's SEO or paid advertising. Once you have these basics down, you can then start digging deeper and add new KPIs that are linked to your objectives. There are potentially many of them, and it will take time and practice to understand when and how to use them. Generally speaking, many of these KPIs can be found in your website's back office. When you browse through PrestaShop's back office, for example, you will see some KPIs at the top of each page that are specific to each area of the back office. Google Analytics is also a must-have. It's free, very comprehensive, and it integrates seamlessly with e-commerce solutions such as PrestaShop. If you work with a web agency, they can also recommend specific tools that can help you measure additional important KPIs that you'll have identified beforehand. Once your analysis is complete, the idea is of course to draw some conclusions and take action to improve your strategy and optimize your online shop. For example, this can imply marketing actions or changing your website structure or its design. 
In that last case, you'll want to have some testing and comparison tools, which are commonly called A slash B testing. With most e-commerce solutions, there is a lot of functionality that can be added to your website to help you optimize it. PrestaShop specifically offers modules that can be downloaded from the dedicated marketplace called PrestaShop add-ons. So if you follow these simple steps and go through them every time a new challenge arises, this will go a long way towards optimizing your shop and its results.